everyone, Katie here, aka Frog, and I have just bought Sims 4 Courtyard Oasis kit, and I thought I would do a quick build with it. So I'm here in Oasis Springs, and I've picked the lot that the Rattlesnake Juice Bar is on, because I just thought, let's take a, just a dinky lot for now, and make a little public pool. This is my idea. So I've changed the lot type to a pool. These are the things that I need in there. But can we turn this lot with a little car park behind it and roads all the way around into a tiny little oasis? And I'm going to try and use all the items in the new pack, which I have not yet looked at. I mean, here they are. <laughs> there's a mosaic. There's a tea set. Doesn't entirely make a lot of sense, but it's going in there. A big old vase. Appreciate it. Lots of like, a lot of swatches. I appreciate that. I mean... You know, if you've ever looked at custom content, this isn't that many swatches, but it, it, it's a lot for The Sims 4. Case in point. <laughs> anyway, there's also some build mode items, some oh, pretty doors, um, this fence mm, gives me life. Um, I don't know much about Moroccan architecture, I won't lie to you, so I'm not going to say that this is culturally accurate in any sort of way. I'm just making a pretty thing. <laughs> it's just gonna be pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, a, that's some swatches. So look at a window. Nice. Like it, like it. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, <gasps> mm. okay, and that might need to be the colour I go with. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna get building. So, is it a box? Not very exciting at the moment, but I'm about to add some lovely columns. They're lovely, aren't they? And something I saw on the live stream, like <laughs> that I watched like 10 minutes before I started building this, was that the spandrels will change shape depending on where the columns are placed or how wide the wall is. Not this one especially, although it does curve around it very beautifully, I must say. Oh, I had some trouble with that platform trim because I thought it was a foundation trim. It wasn't a foundation trim, it was a platform. And then I put a platform there, they can't walk up it. So, <laughs> oh, and then every single column was in the wrong place. So, yeah, it was off to a great start, as you can see. <laughs> they got that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now, you're gonna see, you're gonna see some failure. You're gonna see a little bit of failure here. For some reason, I don't know what it is about Oasis Springs, but it has this weird habit of not letting you actually put things on the floor. Buildings always seem to be sunken into the floor. I don't know, is that my game? I don't know. You also have just experienced the weird lag that I've been getting on OBS. I don't know what that's about, but if you think about the fact this speed build footage is like, I don't know. 600% I think and uh, that was showing pretty slowly wasn't it so yeah it was about maybe like one frame per minute or something at the time hopefully it won't do that to me when I'm filming a machinima at any point because I might kill someone any hoozles you may have seen uh, the central pillars not the outside ones you know the inner bit the courtyardy bit kind of all the courtyard I don't know whatever <laughs> Those spandrels are different depending on how many gappies there are. That's pretty, that's pretty snazzy. Oh, and I love the fact that these have got a little, little tiny edge. Oh, and a little corner piece. Love that. Love it. Mm. And then, because there was a platform trim, which is really cool because I don't think that any packs have come with a platform trim yet. Oh, here's that weird lag. Not a fan of it. Uh, I remembered that you can't put a pool inside a platform, which... Maybe want to kill people as well. So brought me onto the lot. Attempted to get me to climb out of a pool with a platform around the edge with it sunken in. It doesn't work. So that is a nice tip if you want to murder anyone. What is this lag? There we go. Now we're back up to speed. Oh, it's very distressing. I really hope that when I export this video, it's not magically solved and you're all going, what are you talking about? There's no lag here. But I did watch the footage back, like the actual footage from OBS and it was being weird. So I'm um, pretty sure it was there. Oh, and then I did that bit with the little corners in there. Oh, look at that, bottom of a pool. Isn't that fancy? Couldn't resist this greeny, greeny, turquoisey one. Whoa, that's all my favorite colors. And I thought since I'm already, you know, just mainly using the kit, I thought I'd use the other kit. Then if you've only got a tenner, you can only buy two kits and you can do most of this build. Although, unfortunately, the roof 
is from Jungle Adventure. I don't think I used anything from an expansion pack. I think everything is from uh, the two kits and um, game packs, I think. Now, I've spent a little bit of time fiddling about with those, uh, you know. Oh, I'm really bad at doing this off the cuff, aren't I? <laughs> Fences, there we go. I didn't actually stop and stop recording that again. That was me saying it live. I'm quite proud of myself for that. Yeah, here's some ladders uh, on my weird platformy pool ledges. Don't really know what that's about, but it works, it's fine. And I made a basement because originally I was gonna have like toilets and showers and stuff upstairs, but I kind of realized that it looked lame. Oh, and then I got rid of that wall, that gap between the thing and the thing. And then I thought, oh, if I don't, I can put in a uh, cheeky window so you can look through the pool. Although you will see at the end, <laughs> in my, uh, you know, showing off the buildy bit, I was going to say screenshots, it's definitely not because it's all live, you know, showing it off gameplay wise. I don't know. Shut up. Um, <laughs> you will see that you can't see people's legs. You can't see the people in the pool when you're below them. It's really surreal. So, um, yeah, it, it's weird. You get downstairs, the people have disappeared. They just don't exist anymore. So I'm putting in all the doors now, even though I'm about to like duplicate the room that I make here three times because I was going to say four times because there's four rooms, but no, duplicate three times. Oh, I'm clever, aren't I? <laughs> so I used the Snowy Escape shower. Had a little bit of trouble picking a toilet, uh, but I used the... Oh, Snowy Escape shower, yeah, that's from Snowy Escape. That's the one thing that is from an expansion pack, but I did not want to compromise on quality on this build. I could have used something else, but uh, I really like... I wish there was a... Sh there should be a base game shower that isn't in, like, an enclosed thing. I'm just saying. We have them in two different expansion packs now. And now I'm doing the snazzy spandrels and a curtain shower vibe, which I'm always a fan of. Oh, those lanterns on the wall, they work an awful lot better if you scale them down. <laughs> I have actually got them at full size upstairs, but for in these rooms, it, they just, they were insane. Uh, tool in build mode by the way guys i have got uh, the better build by mod and uh, which has organized debug and also tool in build mode if you have both of the mods then you can use tool in build mode not live mode um i said live Ugh, live mode oh i can't believe i just did that here's me using tool again to this is what i do you see people like Satie Sims and Fanta Sims doing these incredible things with Tool and most of the time all I'm using it for is to make objects actually fit on surfaces and not float in the air because it just devastates me to see them float. So, and a combination of Tool and the Red Shelf I actually find really helpful because sometimes, uh, sometimes the Sims objects have a mind of their own and even if you use the Red Shelf it's just like nope, as you will see in a second, these objects don't want to go in there. Also, the fact that you can scale things down, like the teeniest bit. I think I put these, uh, like, washy thingies. Accoutrement. <laughs> I think I put them at, like, 0.8 of the scale. You know, like 80% size of what they are originally. So that they fit on the same thing. And I'm like, yeah. You wouldn't even know. I kind of wanted them to be a bit fancier than that because I do duplicate them. And it's a bit weird that there's that assortment of random things in each one, but it was too much effort to like <laughs> make them unique in each one. You know, sue me. I did this in an evening. What am I doing now? Little vase. Actually, it's a big old vase. And then I, I like that mosaic so much, I put it in twice. Sometimes I've just got to watch myself. I don't know why that tree's downstairs. It would make more sense upstairs, but um, no. And then I, I missed one of the most exciting parts of the pack until the very end when I put it in because it doesn't show up in buy mode. Uh, it is a fountain. Spoilers, there's going to be a fountain. Um, because it comes up in build mode, I didn't notice it. Oh, look at Tool. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, and I had to put in dining chairs for it to count as a pool, which was irritating um but i think that those ones from uh i was gonna call the pack wicker whims <laughs> what's it blooming called you know laundry day i have not done a speed build oh laggy lag time how many frames per second are we now thanks obs you've done great <laughs> oh my god i could have cut these bits out but you know i wanted you to see what i put in there oh 
Oh, oh, these are from an expansion pack as well. Ignore me. I use loads of different random things from lots of different packs. But I'm pretty sure that if you downloaded this, you would miss very little. Uh, the roof texture, it would change to another one. You could just pick the, ga the base game one that is the, you know, the terracotta things that look very similar to that. I just liked the fact that they were a little bit more mismatched. I, I just like the texture from the one from uh, Jungle Adventure. Bit more of a fan of it. I realised there were two doors there. Oh, and then this, that at some point had a, a railing on it, but it looked blooming awful. So I got rid of it. <laughs> I wanted to try and use as much as I could from the pack. Kit! I keep calling it a pack. I shouldn't legitimise it that much by calling it a pack. I'm not entirely against the concept of kits because let's be honest, what would this pack be if it was a stuff pack? If it was a stuff pack that was just a courtyard oasis of Moroccan architecture and build mode items, what would be the gameplay aspect? Like, I just feel like we wouldn't get this pack unless they gave it a really naff idea. Oh, I also realized, careful with these windows, I thought that they were just brown, and then the other side was red, which totally didn't go. So yeah, keep an eye out for those windows. Um, and then I thought, you know, we need a frog, so we have a little frog, and there's the fountain. Beautiful. This lag is uh, depressing. I apologize. I put those back where they were. <laughs> and I think we're just about done. So here we are, my Oasis Springs pool with the Courtyard Oasis kit. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to download it, the link will be in the description to find it on the gallery if you want to put it in your game. Overall, I think it's a very nice kit. If you are a builder, absolutely get this now. It's only a fiver. It's a bit depressing because it's only $5, which means it's not actually the same price for me in the UK and other people in the US and all over the world. We all seem to pay more apart from the people who are in the US, which is a bit depressing, but you know, you can't have everything and it ain't that expensive, let's be honest. And I had a thoroughly nice evening for five pounds. If I'd gone to the cinema, it would have cost a lot more than that. If I'd have gone for a meal, it would have cost a lot more than that. And I had a great time. So, you know, you've got to think about it in those terms. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all the helpful call to action me things that you can do. And I am on my way to reaching YouTube partner. If you're watching this in the future and I have a billion subscribers um, then ignore this message but if you're watching it now at a time when I haven't quite yet reached a YouTube partner please do uh, support me if you want and watch some more of my videos and I'll talk to you next time bye